in awe of what you've just seen. Oh. When the flood gates are open, these things happen in the championship. Oh. One of the most vicious games of football I've ever seen. Get ready to rumble. Yorkshire takes on Norfolk, Tigers take on the Canaries as two teams battling for the playoffs take each other on during the second half of the season. Today will be loud, exciting and action packed but can the Tigers get all three points and push themselves back into the top six? Yes, today is massive as Hull City take on Norwich City in the 27th round of the most exciting, most competitive and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. January football is here, arguably the most exciting time in the football calendar. January transfer rumours every single day, fixtures flowing here, there and everywhere and the table starts to shape. And tonight it's 7th versus 11th and we take on a sleeping giant and I'll be completely honest, I am nervous about the Canaries because individually, player by player, they have got one of the best teams in the championship and once it clicks, for them, it's going to be very scary hours for championship defenders. Gabriel Sara, Johnny Rowe, two players who every time you see them, they just get better and better. And it wouldn't surprise me if next season they're playing in the Premier League. Now on the topic of Premier League players, Fabio Carvalho is a Tiger. Wow, what a transfer that is. Arguably one of the best transfers we've seen for Hull City in a long, long time. He tore the championship apart. He was probably in the top three championship players two years ago for Fulham in that record-breaking year. And now he's here for Hull to try and set new records and to try and help us get promoted to the Premier League. The last competitive fixture ended in a 2-1, well, win to Norwich. Um... <laughs> Cheers, Adam Ida. 96th minute, oh. Today, for the first league game of the year, we're at the MKM. We're there to back the boys in black and amber. I'm absolutely buzzing. Let's get down there. Hopefully, Hull can get the three points. Wow, what a game this could be. Up the Tigers. Right, off we pop. Bye, Mum. <laughs> right. Sorry, dark for three o'clock. Grandma, Grandad, the back. How are you both? Brilliant. Score predictions tonight. We take on Norwich. Well, I think it could be a draw, maybe tonight. 1-1. One, one. Ooh. I think same thing. Yeah, I think 1-1. One, one. Is it worse to lose 1-0? Oh, well, that's not very optimistic. I'll tell you what, Yorkshire is very nature-esque. Now, I usually don't talk about transfers, but Fortuna Sittard have just announced their new goalkeeper. Ivor Panda has been spotted around Hull this afternoon, so it looks like our second transfer of the window has been completed and just waiting to be announced. Hopefully, it's just before kick-off tonight. I'm buzzing with this one. Fortuna Sittard fans rate him so highly and said he'll slot straight into the first team and probably will be our first choice keeper in a matter of weeks. Driffield. Getting trained today. Well, here it is then. Yup, train's coming. I think so. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandad. Thank you for taking me. See you soon. All right, All right love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Now, I've come to the game quite early today. It's five o'clock. Because I'm going to go to the club shop, buy the new home shirt get Carvalho on the back if possible and try and get him to sign it. I think it'll be very busy though today. I, I don't know, but we'll try. I genuinely think if he hits the same numbers that he did at Fulham, he could be the best player in the championship this season. This walk is feeling a lot longer than usual. Well, there it is. Still a far walk, <laughs> but we can see it. I'll tell you what, that's a bit of a steep incline. I mean, I'm not exactly wearing walking boots. One wrong move and I'm off tumbling down here. Well, there it is and isn't it beautiful? Three hours ago, there was 200 tickets remaining. You presume it'll be sold out tonight. It should be bouncing. And I'm very nervous that I've missed Carvalho. <laughs> right, there's absolutely nobody here. 
<laughs> come too early. I'm just going to be wandering around for an hour. I'll tell you what, I haven't been to this side of the stadium for a good while. I don't know whether it's a nice away end to be in. Food's nice. Well, there it is. I might have sold out of Carvalho shirts. I think we'll go up medium. Not for me. Fabio Carvalho shirt acquired. I'm going to try and show without it falling. It's pretty cool. Just come out of the club shop and this big car pulls up. And out comes the owner, Ajin Illijali. What a fella, honestly. Took a photo with him and he said I could interview him whenever I wanted. Honestly, I love the man. What he's done for the club is brilliant. Players are here. Let's try and get it signed. Buzz in your ear, mate. Are uh, you okay? <laughs> Thank you. Can I get a photo? Right. Ooh. Just squeeze for the Hey up. It's not letting me through. What's this about? <laughs> Let's try again. Right, this one works. Thought about banned then. We've got a met him. And he signed the shirt as well. What a fella he is. Let's get some chicken and chips. Well first, let's have a look at the pitch. And wow, it is beautiful. Could we see Fabio's debut today? Hopefully. Well, there's the Norwich players. There's one player there I'd love to get a photo with. That is Johnny Johnny Rowe. Can't see Gabriel Sarri yet. Hopefully, he comes out soon. Honestly, the nicest man I've ever met. What a fella Johnny Rowe is. And there he is. Fellas Fleming. Fabio. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome. We're here at the MK Stadium for the first time under the Fabio Carvalho era. And he slots straight into the starting 11. I've never been so buzzing. And I'll tell you something, I've never seen something so hectic outside the stadium. Hundreds of people trying to catch a glimpse of this magnificent talent. And this is an eight o'clock kickoff as well. You never seem to see that at all. Now there is some sad news. Liam Dullar has been confirmed to be injured for the next three months, which is absolutely gutting. We've got another two or three weeks now to maybe look for a new striker. It's one of those, do we need a new striker? Probably not, but you know, it's always nice to have a little bit of depth in the squad. And it is a bit sad because we might not ever see him in a whole shirt again. And he's been one of my favorite loan signings we've had for a long, long time. But we need to stay positive. Here's your lineup to take on Norwich City. In goal, Ryan Alsop. Today's right back and captain, Louis Coyle. Left back, Matty Jacobs. The two centre-backs are Alfie Jones and Jacob Greaves. In midfield, Ozan Tufan, Tyler Morton and Regan Slater. And up front, Scott Twine, Aaron Connolly. And to make his Hull City debut, Fabio Carvalho. Now we're joined with Leo. Big game today against a tough opposition. What's your score prediction? Take that all down. You're not an hooligan, mate. Um, well, before the game, well, it still is before the game. I'm going to sing you 2 0 Norwich. Because I don't know, I don't think you're going to do that well without yeah. the lap. I'm going to go for 2 2. A bit more confident. I'm going to say Carvalho and. Who should we go for? Matty Jacob again, why not? Now we're joined with Lucas, how are you mate? Uh, I'm alright, I'm looking forward to the game tonight, the last one of the month, so it's going to be a good one hopefully. Last one of the month? It is, yeah, it is. Last home game. Fair last enough, game. there we go. Score predictions? Um, it's going to be a tough game tonight of course, um, but I do think City will come out with three points. I think it's going to be 2-1 to the Tigers. Uh, I think Norwich will open the scoring. Um, Josh Sargent, and then I think we'll equalise with two fan, and then we'll bring Billy Sharp on around the 70th minute, and I think he'll get the winner. No debut goal for Carvalho. No, I think he might get an assist there, and I think I think he'll light up. I think he'll light the place up. I think he'll have a great. Hopefully, day. honestly, we're sat near the Sky TV, and it's just been fully Fabio Carvalho. The hype of him signing for Hull is madness. Wow. The reception for Fabio, <laughs> this is going to be elite. Nick Barmy, the legend himself. My family tells me he was a wonder of a player. Well, here we have it then. Hull City take on Norwich City in the 27th round of the championship. And there that man is, Fabio Carvalho. And there that man is, Jonathan Rowe. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm optimistic. Wow! And it will be Ozan Tufan to take kick off of the Tigers. Whew. I'm looking forward to this one. 
I'm so loving to see him in a whole shirt. Now, our mother's gone to get a crumble and they've sold out. Gutting news. But in positives, Fabio Carvalho has been in a pitch three minutes and he's already set in a league of light. He genuinely looks like such a special talent. How's he playing in the championship? I don't know. And it seems so daft saying that, having only seen four minutes of him, but he just genuinely looks like such a, such a good player. Oh. Tell you what, Keeper could be in a chance of getting sent off here. Gone jumped up to get the ball. And a nasty collision with Aaron Connolly. Blooming heck. Just seen the replay now. He's gone studs up, knees up. If Aaron Connolly somehow gets up from this. Honestly, that was one of the worst challenges I've ever seen. Oh, not even a card. Oh dear. Aaron Conley can't continue. He comes off the pitch, meaning we have one fit striker now. It's gutting. Hopefully it's a speedy recovery and a safe recovery for Aaron. Lovely, lovely guy, brilliant player. And it will be Billy Sharp to come on. I'm gutted for Aaron, genuinely gutted. Now a player to watch today has to be number 17, Gabriel Sara. Arguably one of the best players in the league. On the ball, I think he is the best in the league. Genuinely incredible. Look forward to watching him play. Go on. Oh. oh, it's quality. There's a TV screen in front of us, and you get to see all the challenges and replays. <laughs> Don't realise how much they die. <laughs> We've won about three free kicks here that we haven't deserved at all. Oh, no. hey! Wow. Three years ago, you think we'd scored a goal with that sound blooming, eh? The fans have really got into it the last few years. Brilliant to see. Now, when was the last time we saw this? A full, packed out MKM stadium. That's just so good to see, honestly. It's good to see three academy lads on the bench. You know, we went through a period where not many academy players were breaking through the ranks, but now we've got a few. It's brilliant to see, especially Harry Ball. Love that lad. Now we've got a bit of time to talk about it. That is incredible from Norwich City fans. Four hour drives, eight o'clock kickoff, Friday night, packing out the away end. I've always loved Norwich fans. They're just incredible. Now I found out yesterday that Hull fans are the furthest away from the pitch in the championship. And it makes you think, you don't really realise when you're when I sat here. But to be fair, we are quite far. We've got that, that, and then that. Boom! Oh, come on! There's an opportunity for a red here. The amount of players gone down. I don't know whether the grass has been watered too much. But it's not looking good. I wonder what these holes are for. <laughs> it's not a lot happening. Wow. Wow. That may be the best goal I've seen for a long time. You know, it's always gutty when you come see, but when it's a goal like that, you can't help just feel a little bit in awe of what you've just seen. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's so poor defending. But Johnny Rowe dribbling past four or five men, and then on the outside of his boot, from outside the box. Honestly, wow. I love Johnny Rowe. He's got a brilliant chance. He's a fantastic footballer and a lovely person as well. We make Leo be buzzing with that. I am gutted though, and you can hear the frustration in the whole fans' voice. Because they feel they should have had at least maybe two or three free kicks that haven't been given. I say Hull fans, I'm a Hull fan. I, 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 I just offered, don't I? Another one in the book. Oh, he's alright. Fabio Carval. I thought they were uh, signalling for him to be stretching off then. It's all good. Go on, Tyler. Oh. The Tigers are hunting. They haven't found any prey yet, but they're going for it. It just seems it's a strange game, this. We were 43 minutes in, and it does not seem like that. It, it's gone so quick. I couldn't tell you about what's happened apart from the goal. I'm just admiring the sky and the grass and... It's a nice stadium, isn't it? It's a, it's a good ground. What's a cameraman on duty? 
Big up the cameraman. Come on. Six minutes added time. I really hope we get something. We're missing Liam Dolap so much. You can just tell we're missing the presence of a big, strong, physical, fast striker. You know what? I trust Billy Sharp. I trust Fabio Carvalho. I trust Scott Twine. Hopefully we can pluck something out of somewhere. Go on. Go on, Fabio. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Jack Stacey's just turned into Ronaldinho, jumping past six players and then end up in the same position he was in. That, that's magic as well. You're doing well. Honestly, we're getting torn apart. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh. I mean, I don't think it deserves booze, but. Half time, 1 0 down. I'm, I'm lost for words. Fans aren't lost for booze, though. That's absolutely disgraceful. They've just shown a replay of Gian Louise elbowing Louis Carl in the face and a massive lump on his head. Gets his hand and you just see him fling it back. Honestly, and apart from that, I think the ref has got a lot of his calls spot on. But that challenge is disgraceful. No matter what team, if it's a whole player doing that to an Norwich player, should see red. No matter which team, which player, that's a red card every day of the week. Now, we just have not been clinical enough. We've had all the possession. We've had over 70% possession. But we haven't hit the target. We just haven't looked deadly up front. And you can see we're missing Liam Dollar. Oh, it's, it's, it's good to watch. But, you know, we've got another 45 minutes to try and correct ourselves. And I look forward to it. Norwich is always an entertaining, entertaining team to watch. Should be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. I don't believe it. Number 30. Jenny Louise has been taken off. The guy who did the red car defence. Oh, well. Still can't believe Norwich had Tim Krull and Angus Gunn last season. I mean, how would you pick between them two? Crazy. Hey! Hey! No! No! Oh, no. I, don't, I don't even know who's been booked and who hasn't at this point. I thought he was on his second yellow. <laughs> I'm nearly 100% sure he's on his second yellow. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It was Regan Slate who got booked for diving. Blooming heck. Need to keep our cool here. There's going to be reds flying out. Now, one thing I have noticed is Billy Sharp is making some fantastic runs and asking for the ball, but no one's playing it to him. He's not in the game enough. It's a shame to see, because Norwich are playing a really strange line. The left-back's playing really high up in the pitch, but then the centre-back's playing really low, and it gives Billy Sharp that time to move in between the defenders. Right. We just need to calculate and get the run started. We might have an opportunity to go earlier. Maybe. Oh! Tell you what, I get embarrassed watching some of my own clips back. I'm going to replay that clip. Doesn't it sound like I'm straining one out? It's just... Absolutely awful. Oh. That is beautiful. Oh. He's in the blooming bar. Oh. Fabio! Fabio! No! Look at the amount of opportunities we've had in the last five minutes. I'm trying to stay optimistic here. But blooming it, we have to bury one of these, surely. What are you thinking? Uh, Toffee Crumble would have been beautiful. The hostility in here, you thought you just walked into El Clasico. Honestly. Here we go. Here we go. No, we don't go. We tried. Come on. Come on. The Tigers are smelling blood. <laughs> a goal has to be coming here. But there is a substitution. I'll tell you something, though. This is up there with one of the most vicious games of football I've ever seen. Genuinely. And I mean that. Well played, Josh Sargent. Lovely fella. And here is the substitution then. Scott Twine comes on. Jason Lakilo comes on. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised by that substitution then. Scott Twine has had one of his best games in a whole city shirt. No! Oof, me hands are going cold. I just like to see the city win. 
Ah, we're slowly losing the momentum here. We had a massive 10 minutes of maybe 15 chances. Fantastic atmosphere and the momentum. It just looked like a goal was coming and it's now gone back to playing around the back. Getting a little bit nervous. Corner, corner, corner. Corner? Yeah, corner. Ah. Go on. Ah. This game is slowly petering out. I mean, honestly, honestly, this game. It's got a lot of talking points, but not in terms of action. Here we go. Ten minutes to go. A goal is crucial here. And we've got the quality to do it. We've been trying all that. I think it is possible. It's just whether we can work our way around the defence. Shoot! Oh! What a save. I mean, honestly, Angus Gunn. Quality goalkeeper. Substitution for the Tigers. The last throw of the dice. Harry Vaughan comes on. Matty Jacobs comes off. Taking a defender off is a massive risk and bringing on an attacker. But if it works and we get this equaliser, this place is going to be rocking. Oh, that was nearly game done. Go well, in, Matty. 24,000. That's incredible. Best we've had for a few years, no? I think this is the coolest game it's been all season. There we go, that can be the title. <laughs> Oh. Ah. oh! We've officially been plucked by the Canaries. No, pecked by the Canaries. Oh, that didn't come out right. And the floodgates are open. Thousands of people empty the seats. Another game where, yeah, we should have got the three points, but we've had another period of 30 minutes of domination and we just didn't capitalise on any opportunities. Sometimes, these things happen in the championship. I'm trying to stay positive. I don't know I'm trying to be a poet. Fair play to the Norwich fans, as always, for quality. But, it's just so frustrating, man. Oh, dear. I'm not on about the lines, man. I'm on about the people leading there. 90th minute, four minutes added on, is it enough? I'd... Enough to get one, I don't know about two. Oh! Wait up, three minutes! We can do this! Woman, eh? Oh, <laughs> oh Corker! Come on! I'll tell you what, that gives us a bit of hope. Now or never, three minutes. I mean, there's about about 10 people in the stadium, so as everyone's left, but, you know, this, this is a possibility. Quick, quick, come on! I'm out of breath doing that. <laughs> come on! The clock has finished. I don't know where the referee's plucking any more out. We need to capitalise on this. Just quick, just quick. There it is. We just muck about with it sometimes. Ah, oh, so that'll bang up. Fair play. Full time. Norwich City 2. Hull City 1. That is so frustrating. I'll see you when we get home. Nice to see Fabio Carvalho in a whole shirt though. I called it, yes. Just before I talk a bit about the game, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Jonathan Rowe for sparing his shirt after the game for my dad, who isn't very well. An absolute legend. It was fantastic speaking to him before and after the game. We even said he'd score. And as soon as he saw us, he said, you called it, you called it. Honestly, such a nice person. One of the nicest 
people I've ever met and I wish him all the very best in his career. Honestly, we'll be cheering you on. What a legend Johnny Rowe is. And a huge thank you to Norwich City's kit man for sparing Stacey's shirt at the end of the game for my dad as well. Honestly, Norwich City, what a club that is. The fans, the players, the staff, everybody just so down to earth. A lovely, lovely club and I just absolutely love them to bits. Onto the game, and I see a lot of people slating the referee today. And yeah, I can understand why some people disagree with some of the decisions. But the truth is, we had 10 or 15 minutes of pure momentum where we could have got an equaliser. And then we could have got the winner. It's just one of those days in the Championship. Norwich defended incredible. I mean, Shane Duffy and Angus Gunn were immense. And they went up the other end of the pitch. They got a goal. They deserved the three points. And, you know, we just have to take it on the chin, all eight of mine, and go on to the next fixture. It's so exciting being a Hull City fan. Some of the rumours we've got for the transfer window, it's just incredible. To see some of the players we were linked with, you know, two or three years ago, to who we're linked with now, it's just great to be a Hull City fan. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you to the MKM Stadium to watch Hull City versus Norwich. The next vlog will be tomorrow as we take a trip to Wales and to Wrexham. Thank you. Up the Tigers!